I am Anil Kumar. I have a very interesting question here to sketch graph of a function from given conditions. Students at time get puzzled with such questions. I'll make it very simple for them. Now here, the question is, sketch the graph of a function for given conditions. We have two examples. First one is, second derivative is greater than zero for x less than two. Second derivative is less than zero for x greater than two and value of the function at 2 is 1, right? So let's analyze the situation and then we'll immediately do it. So we are looking at a critical point where x is equals to 2 and when we say second derivative is greater than 0 when it is less than 2, that means on this side, left side, it is concave up since, since second derivative saying second derivative is positive, greater than zero. On the right side, it is less than zero, means negative. That means the function is concave down. Is it okay? And at two, we are given a value. Let this value be one. So if I have to draw a graph which is concave up here and down thereafter, the graph should look like what? Very simple, right? So it should be kind of like this point of inflection and this. Do you see that? So that becomes the graph of the function. Is that okay? And of course you can always sketch the coordinates. At 2 we want the value to be 1 so it could be something like this. Is that okay? So, so at 2 we want 1. Does it make sense to you? Okay? So this point corresponds to 2, 1 and the concavity corresponds to the given condition. Do you see how easily we could sketch a function? Now let's, we have another example here and let's figure it out. <coughs> now, in this particular case, we have second derivative greater than zero when x is between minus four and one. So we'll follow similar method, okay? we have minus 4 and 1. Second derivative, we are talking about the second derivative, is greater than 0. So this is positive here, correct? Positive means concave up. Second derivative is less than 0 on this side. So that means negative here. And, and beyond 1, it is negative. We are also given that the value of the function at minus 4 is 3. Let's say this is 3. And at 1, it is minus 1. Let's say it is 1 here. Okay, let me put it here. Okay. So we got few points. So we are assuming as if the, uh, the axis is along the green line. Okay, because we placed this one here. Okay, anyway. So, so let me sketch the axis here. Okay, so this is what we are assuming. Okay. Now, from the analysis, it is very clear that the graph of the function is concave up in this portion and concave down in these two portions. Is it okay? So that means we have two point of inflections. Those two point of inflections could be at these points, could be at these points, right? So the graph comes kind of like this and this happens to be a point of inflection, right? So here the concavity changes. So what I can do here is, at this point, I can go kind of like this because I have to go concave down. Now somewhere here, I have to change the concavity to concave up from, I mean, from here I'll go concave up and then concave down. Is it okay? So, so from here, we can go kind of anywhere like this. But as soon as we reach this point 1, we have to change the concavity, right? So we could have concavity kind of like this. Do you see that part? So, so these points act as point of inflections. So these are point of inflection. Do you see that? Those two points. And the concavity is defined by the second derivative. And we get a quartic function which is opening downwards. So I hope with this you understand how to utilize second derivative information to sketch 
fairly accurate graph of the function itself. Is it okay? So we sketch function by analyzing the given points and interval when the second function was positive or negative. I hope that helps. Feel free to post your questions and suggestions. Thanks for watching.